RMC Paladins road trip concludes with a rare Thursday night game in Sudbury versus the Wrench and Voyagers. This game was supposed to be the second half opener for the Paladins, but due to a scheduling conflict with the Voyagers, it was moved to a Thursday night. They called him the Matador. He settles all the scores. He kills in plain sight. The V's came out flying in the first period, pushing the Paladins to the brink early and taking a 1-0 lead. For the next shift, Marcus Quinlan turns and fires and was tipped in by Frederick Twain and it was a 1-1 tie. RMC would have their first lead in games when Jake Bullen went around the net, was on one knee and backhanded a puck past Martin Rabinzer for a 2-1 Paladins lead. The V's would reply and it was 2-2 at the end of one. Be patient. All over. Sometimes that first shift we had to play defense for a while, we gave them nothing. We just defended. We defended and we got the change. Our goals came off patience. We had defended for a while, we got in. We got to put the puck in the net. We did our thing behind the net. Boom. Rah. Score. Puck on south blast, boom, so after we drove in. So our time will come, and we got one. Good's got a good rush. We almost made a play, so it's gonna come. We gotta count. So keep doing the same things. Keep being positive here. Let's go to work. Have a good second. Boys. The V's would regain the lead at the start of the second period. would answer for the second time in the game as Jake Bullen would score second of the game and it was a 3-3 tie. DeVilla and Robinson would go save for save for the rest of the period and we were tied at 3 after 40. We don't need, we don't need to give him any freebies, okay? So 50-50 pucks, everybody plays the defensive side, doesn't mean we, we back off on our gap. We did a good job on our gap, so let's make sure we have that. Let's be patient. That's what we were, patient. Play the game the same way. A little bit better on draws, a little quicker on our draws, okay? So we can get the puck. More pucks, and that's it. And enjoy. We haven't been in a good game in a while, okay? You've earned your right to be in this game. I don't care if they go and score right now, we'll get it back. We've done it all game. You've earned the right to be in the game. Stay with it, stay with each other. And we'll see what happens when we get back. There we go, Midway into the third. 
Bees Captain Vincent Lorca for making a 4-3 Bees lead. Allen's Preston turned up the offense late in the third to try and tie the game. And as he does many times this season, Eric Louis Silo to go down the wing, rip a shot, and we have tie game at four. In the dying moments of the third, the V's Michael McDonald was caught playing without a helmet, and the V's have a power play. But in overtime, Nick Esposto would win the game for the Voyageurs 5-4. RMC would return home two days later to take on McGill Redmen, another game between two of the oldest teams in hockey. something you don't have to do something fancy just make the play if, you're at, if we just make the play and not make up play that's how the plays build up to a successful time all right go have fun go get this game <laughs>
Another game, but next Saturday the challenge, the Challenge Cup against the rivals of the Army Black Knights. 